Hello, that was a crazy start. I pressed the button accidentally. And now I'm playing my microphone. Ah. <laughs> Hello. Wow. <laughs> it's Friday afternoon. That's why it's a bit crazy. Hello and welcome to my Friday afternoon chat this week. I've just been a bit busy with my girls home. Um, hello, hello. So welcome to my Facebook live chat Friday the 6th of July, four o'clock in the afternoon um, instead of nine o'clock in the morning for me, just because it's school holidays and I have been driving, driving, driving. Well, I'm just realizing you're seeing all of my crap in <laughs> So yesterday I drove 600 kilometers today I drove 250 kilometers so yeah we've been out and about doing some things um, yes with the, my girls <laughs> so it's good so Friday afternoon I'm tired but I still wanted to touch base with you guys because I'm gonna have to miss next week's video um, but I'll explain a bit later so hello welcome thank you for joining me if you're watching here on Facebook or later on on um, YouTube when I upload it let me tell you what I've been up to since I spoke to you last week. Um, so first off, last weekend I got to do something really fun, something a bit different for me. I got to test a pattern for another crochet designer. <laughs> um, I got to test a pattern for Pony McTate, she's known as. She's on Instagram mainly. Um, and she's designed this fantastic kids blanket. It's called the ABC blanket but C as in S-E-A, the, the ocean, and it's a, a circle in a square um, blanket but there are 26 of the circles have a sea creature named uh, um, from A to Z and I got to test this one which is so cool. <laughs> oh the sunlight, the sun's shining in this afternoon. So that's the deep sea angler I just did it in blue because that was the colour I had. I didn't have any of the, the browns and things. So he's got his little lure that dangles and his sharp teeth. <laughs> it's a super cool. It's so amazing, the whole blanket. It's really awesome. She's got a blobfish, um, tube worms, um, zooplankton. <laughs> um, there's some just some fantastic things. There's a great white shark. Um, oh, it's just the best thing. So she's actually putting it out as an ebook. So there's 26 creatures and um, it's just fantastic. So I cannot wait to get the whole book. It's going to be so good. So yeah, that was heaps of fun for me to test somebody else's pattern, give some feedback and um, that was that was fine. I mean, really, I found a couple of typos and that was about it. <laughs> so that was super, super fun. It was really good for me to just forget about everything else and just do that for a little while. So... What else happened? This week I sent my work in progress Wednesday, WIP Wednesday email to all my newsletter folks. Now I have a sneaking suspicion that for whatever reason this week a lot of those emails went to your spam folders because mine did, my own copies. I get, you know, I just to make sure that they all go through okay, um, I get a copy sent to other email addresses and both of them actually went to my spam folders. And I can see that it's about half as many people have opened it as normally do. So if you missed my email this week, um, check your spam folder or I'm actually going to put a link to the web version of it after in the comments today. So even if you don't get my newsletters, you'll be able to read it this week. <laughs> so I spoke a bit about my biggest work in progress to date, which I'm sure you can guess is my book. Yay! <laughs> so it's been a bit of an exciting week about my book this week. So I'm just going to move seamlessly from the email to talking about my book. Let me show you something. <laughs> this is a very heavy box. And here's the last link. Each I have a box. And there's 28 books in every box that I have. And I had like 18 boxes delivered. So <laughs> <laughs> my house is just a crazy mess at the moment because I've got my two kids home from uni. We've still got the room, the bedroom with um, that had the water leak that hasn't been finished being repaired yet. So that's empty, waiting for the painter to come next week and then the carpet the week after that. <laughs> so I've got one kid sleeping in the lounge room on an air mattress, another kid sleeping in another in a study room, and 
I've got all these boxes, all these books in my kitchen, um, as well as all the stuff from my daughter's bedroom that's in my kitchen, because all of her bedroom stuff is in here. Anyway, it's a mess, but it's great. I have books. So that means, oof, sorry, I'll put it down. It's very heavy. <laughs> um, I believe that my the boxes that I'm going to be mailing out the books have arrived at my local post office, but that's down the road. I haven't had a chance to go there today because I've been at Mount Gambia. Um, so I'm going to, as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to go down and collect those. So hopefully this, hopefully they're there. I think they should be. The courier said they would be. Um, fantastic. Thank you. So I just want to talk to you a little bit about the packaging because initially I was just going to send it in like a post pack, like a normal envelope type things, tough bags that you get from the post office. But then I thought I wanted them to get them to you in great condition. So I did some research and this is a sample of what I had sent to me. This is a little, a book mailer specifically for mailing books. So they come flat and they open up and they protect your book either end or fold over. But they come, sorry, I'm taking it out. They come flat, so I'm going to have a, <laughs> a huge, I think, I can't even remember how many I ordered now, a lot. So I've got all of those, I think, waiting. So this weekend, lucky my girls are home. If they are there, guess what I'll be doing? Guess what they'll be doing? <laughs> Packaging up your boxes with your books. Um, now, I also, I'm very conscious of trying not to create rubbish and waste. So this is completely recyclable. I can't remember. I think there's a bit of recycled content in the manufacturer of those boxes. But I also tried a bit harder and the tape that we're going to seal it with, this is paper. So it's really sticky. It's not going to come undone, but um, it's made of paper. So it's completely 100% recyclable, the tape that I'll be using to stick them closed with. So when you do get it, um, you will be able to just recycle all of your packaging. Yay. My book, will it be available in the UK? Yes, you can actually pre-order it now. If you go to amazon.co.uk, I think that's how Amazon work, the websites work in the UK. You get, it's available for pre-order now at Amazon in the UK. So yes, you can. <laughs> um, so that's exciting. Yay. I'm just probably crossing my fingers that those book mailers are at the post office when I finish this. <laughs> I'll go and collect them. Um, yes. So I'm going to have to send them in batches because we have, thank you to so many people, we have quite a lot to send. Um, and I have a very, like, my post office is, like, I don't, we don't have mail delivered to our house because we live in the country. So they have, we've got a, a, a post office down in the main street which is the only thing, there's no other shops, that's it. <laughs> and it's tiny, it's a little kind of shed type thing where everybody goes to collect their mail and they don't have a lot of space and the mail is delivered and collected from there once a day. And they don't, yeah, so I don't want to rock up with 250 of these <laughs> and expect them to be able to post them in one day. So over the next when everything does get here, I'm going to do it in batches down so I don't overwhelm the poor guys down there. <laughs> I need to keep friends with, keep very friendly with them because they do a lot for me. Excellent. Great. <laughs> so that's that. Um, so thank you to everyone who's ordered a copy. I can't wait for them to get out and in your hands. So yeah, pre-order lucky people get to get it a bit earlier than the 20th of July release date. Um, what else? New events for the celebrating the book launch. I went to Gambia, I mentioned today, to get my car serviced. Whoopee. <laughs> but while I was there, I dropped into the Mount Gambia Library because I've been emailing with the people there. And I'm actually going to be running two workshops and a book launch at the Mount Gambia Library on the 18th of August. So there's going to be a workshop in the morning um, on the Saturday. It's a Saturday, the 18th of August. I hope that's the right day. Um, a workshop in the morning, then I'll do a book launch, like a bit of a chat, show everything from the book, and then another group of people will do the same workshop in the afternoon because they have an amazing, twice a week there's a group of crochet ladies who get together at the library, <laughs> so they're really, really keen to have me come over, so that's awesome. Um, I'm also going to be doing a similar sort of thing, a workshop and a bit of a book chat at Joy's Craftworks in Portland on the 22nd of August, so that's awesome. Um, Monday coming next week, I'm going to talk to, I'm going to get the name wrong, 
Hamilton Wool as a craft guild. They've been going for like uh, well over a hundred years. Um, they meet in this tiny hall in the middle of nowhere. It used to be a town, I think, or a location, and it's called the Yulecart Hall. I'm going up there to have a bit of a chat um, and morning tea, lunch, that sort of thing over there on Monday, talk about the book. Um, I've had emails from a couple of folks um, from a long way away from where I am, <laughs> wanting me to come and talk about the book, which is very exciting. And I'm going to try very hard to make that happen. So as it does, I will let you know on those things. So potentially a bit further north than where I am now. Something might be happening. A few things. So let's see. Okay. So that's enough about that. Enough about the book. It's all good. <laughs> um, Giant Test Progress. Look, I'm really sorry. I probably shouldn't have started reworking it and promising that it would be out soon because, you know, I just haven't had a chance to work on it very much. I have been working on it, it is closer, but it's still probably a couple of weeks out before I am able to re-release the, the pattern. I'm sorry, I just, yeah. It turns out that launching a book takes a fair bit of effort and things to do and time. <laughs> Hindsight is a wonderful thing. So it is coming still, it's just still in the works. So I apologize for that. Okay, so what else have I been doing this week? <clears throat> um, just quick. <laughs> I reviewed a book oh, a year or two ago now, I can't remember, by a lady called Karen Woolley who's in the US, who's a crochet designer, and I made a shawl, a crocheted a shawl, it was my first crocheted shawl actually that I ever made, um, I think, and I wore it to Bendigo last year, that's right, so it must have been last year, about a year ago. Um, so I, she's contacted me because she has just released, or oh, she's in the process of releasing a new book, I think it's actually out on the 10th, what day is that? Tuesday next week, Monday next week, I don't know. Anyway, it's called Coastal Crochet. I've reviewed it, I popped a, a review up on my blog um, just this week, I'll pop a link to that down below a little bit later. And it's all um, something that I'm seeing a lot more of, which has been a bit rare, which is um, crochet garments, like actual jumpers and like a, a sort of tank top. Um, so there's 12 projects in the book. You've got there's a there's a beanie and there's a scarf and a cowl and some mittens, but there's also um, two fitted jumpers. Like there's several different sizing options, um, and a looser jumper and um, like a cardigan and a couple of shawls. So yeah, and it, it's it's just I think fitted crochet. Um, <laughs> Quit staying up to 2 a.m. That's commitment. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, because I crochet garments are really becoming a thing, and I decided I'm going to make one. So, in this basket of yarn behind me, I um, have heaps of random bits of yarn that I've just bought on impulse mostly. And um, all of the patterns in Karen's book are for like four ply or fingering weight yarn. And I just happen to have this here from the Pearl Box, Oyster Yarns. It's called Eden's Blend. So it's a mix of wool, silk, and yak. And it's, so it's lovely. And it's sort of a, not a solid color. You can see the different tones, grays in it. I was going to, when I bought it, my intention was to knit a big shawl in it, but because I'm still knitting that shawl that I started last year, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I figured I might actually use it for this because it actually suits the pattern really well. So I'm making, a jumper from Karen's book called Coastline. So all the patterns in Karen's book are inspired by the west coast of the USA where she lives. And this one called Coastline. And it's I've started it. This is the neck, the yoke. And why I've chose this one is because it's the like a one size fits all pretty much thing. Um, but it's done in one piece. So there's no making the front, making the back, seaming it up. It's knitted neck down and um, yeah, so it's really cool. So it actually fits too. Let me show you. <laughs> so I think that's coming along quite well. Yeah. Oh, so I'm looking forward to that because I've never actually crocheted a garment for myself before, for anyone actually. So that's pretty exciting. So I like it's got a nice ribbed neckline and the sleeves, like it's quite open and drapey, but the sleeves are, are quite fitted. So yeah, it's really cool. 
So I'm really happy about that. So I only had one skein of this and I need, I think I need four in total to make the jumper. So I've contacted Kylie and Anita and they've put some aside and they are going to take it to Bendigo because I think their stall is actually going to be right next door to where I am at Bendigo. So that's awesome. So Barbara says that she has um, ordered it and she's from near where Barbara is. So that's cool. I hope you enjoy it, um, Barbara. I think it's a really good book. Different completely to what I do with my squares and my blankets, but it's, it's great to do something different. So I um, hope you enjoy it. Um, yes, so that's that. That's pretty much what I've done this week. Not a whole lot of crochet <laughs> because we've been out and about doing some stuff. Went to the movies last weekend and as I said, Geelong yesterday, did a bit of shopping and Mount Gambia today and <sighs> busy, busy. So let me get on to the questions I've had this week. So first off, thank you all for your responses to my bit of a moan that I had last week. Like I, I should have stressed more that like 99.5% of emails and messages I get are just truly wonderful. But last week there just happened to be an influx of not so lovely um, ones. So thank you for all the messages you sent afterwards. I got a few lovely emails and yes, thank you. <laughs> I do really do appreciate it. <laughs> Um, so questions I've had this week. Sirens Atlas. So uh, if you're new to me, to me, in 2017, I released a pattern every week, a square pattern, and it was called my Sirens Atlas. And you could either purchase them individually as a subscription where you get you know, one, one a week or in a one-off package. Um, and I had a question this week that I got quite often last year is, um, it's, is there any other way to pay for subscriptions? Now, unfortunately... For subscriptions to make it automatic and make it easy for everybody um, PayPal is the only way you can make payments for it so I'm sorry that's just the way it has to be um, so if you set up a, an automatic payment through PayPal once a month they take money and it just means that automatically once a week you get a new email in your inbox with a new pattern so that's how that works sorry I can't do anything other than that at the moment I'll keep investigating but at the moment that's the only way it is um, the Greg pattern. Last week I showed you um, the, a Joe pattern from my Greg blanket. I know that sounds very weird, but I have a blanket called Greg, and each of the patterns in Greg was named, had a, a man's name. So there was Greg and Ian and Bob and Joe and Tom, I think. <laughs> so someone was asking, where is the Greg pattern? So you can, the Greg patterns began as a crochet along. I do a crochet along once a year. And this was ooh, 2015, I'm going to say. Might be wrong, I don't know. Um, so I released a, a small pattern every week and then a large pattern over a couple of weeks. And they are still all on the blog. All of my cows are always on my blog, always will be free. There's a, a page called cows. You just got to click on it, hover down and click the one you want and you'll get a link, a page that links to all of the patterns. So always there. But you always, 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 most of the time, have an option to purchase an ebook with all of the patterns in them at once. So quite often they have a few extra things in them as well. So they're there. You just need to have a look and you can find them. Um, what else? Uh, Erin's Blanket. I had a question last... Oh, I don't know. An email, actually. That's right. So Erin's Blanket that I'm making that I still haven't finished. <laughs> I haven't done any more since I showed you last time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, where is the pattern? So this is, I'm basing this on Julie Little Woolies, um, I'm going to get the name wrong, Mixed, no I won't, so I've got it written down here, bear with me for a moment. It's called the Mixed Stitch Stripey Blanket by Julie Little Woolies, she did it a few years ago in all her colours, if you have a look at that you'll see they're very different colours to this, these are the colours that my daughter Erin chose. So yes, I'll pop a link down below to that later as well. And I think that is about all I have for you today. Um, if you have any other questions, pop them up now while I do my last minute ramble. <laughs> um, I'll pop a link to Pony McTate down below so you can go and check out her awesomeness. Um, and I'll pop a link to the book review that I did of Karen's. I will put a link to my book, of course. And yes, a few other things. So as I said, I'm going to miss next week's video. Um, I'm just going to be otherwise occupied. My girls are here for one more week, so we're going to squeeze everything we can in. Um, and then I will do a video the week after, but the week after the Friday is actually the first day of Bendigo show. 
So I'm actually going to do it on the Tuesday, the week after next. I think that, let me see, I think I'm sure I wrote the date down. Tuesday the 17th of July will be my next Facebook Live video. And then after that, it'll be back to normal again on the Fridays. So sorry for the flicking it around a little bit, but you know, you've got to balance these things. <laughs> so I think that's it for me. Thank you very much for popping in. If you ever have any questions or queries, email me. Um, my blocking board. Hello, sorry, I've just had a question here. Um, where do I get my blocking board from? Yes. I um, use... Oh, I've got one right here. These. So they're interlocking mats. I've seen, I saw them today in Kmart described as children's play mats or you go to camping stores and they're for flooring all sorts of things so that's that's what I use <laughs> um, if I order your book from New Zealand can you post to an Australian address um, do you ever send me an email Gillian I'm just not sure on the logistics of like the actual process of putting the order in if you send me an email Shelley at spincushions.com I'll be able to sort something out for you so thank you, yes, but you, yes, that's probably the best thing to do. But you can also order from Amazon, Australia and, is it Amazon in New Zealand? They should be, shouldn't they? Anyway, email me, Gillian, 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 I'm going to say that wrong, I'm very sorry, and I will sort you out, thank you. Uh, thank you, Diane, I'm glad you're enjoying. <laughs> right, um, no problems. So that's me. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a wonderful time. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will hopefully see you very, very soon. Thanks.